this bone diagram, a basic tool of project quality management. A fish bone diagram, also called a cause and effect diagram or Ishikawa diagram, was named after Kairu Ishikawa, a famous Japanese statistician and quality management innovator. The fish bone or Ishikawa diagram is one of the tools available to the project manager to help measure quality control and resembles the shape of fish bones. The purpose of fishbone diagram is to one, provide a creative way to look at possible causes to a problem, and two, help stimulate thinking, organize the team's thoughts, and generate robust discussion. Three, provide a basis to explore factors that may produce a desired future outcome. Four, graphically display how possible causes and sub-causes relate and how they can create potential problems or effects. And five, pinpoint root problems from the bottom up. In fishbone diagrams, the various causes are grouped into categories. And the arrows indicate how the causes cascade or flow towards the end effect. Now we show you how to create a simple fishbone diagram for a sentinel event analysis involving healthcare associated pneumonia. First, define the effect. Be specific. Write the problem statement effect at the right center of the chart, near the center, and then draw a box around it. So our problem statement or effect is healthcare associated in pneumonia. And we will identify areas of noncompliance. Next, draw a horizontal line or arrow running into your problem statement. Third, brainstorm the major categories of the causes of the problem. Write these major categories or causes as branches from the main area. So our six main categories are poor and improper techniques, staffing and education variance, intubation and mechanical ventilation, other considerations, active favoring aspiration, and antimicrobial use. Brainstorm possible causes. Why does this happen? Write each idea as a branch from the appropriate category. And if the causes relate to several categories, they can be written in several places. So under poor and improper techniques, we have lack of consistent hand hygiene, inconsistent use of isolation practices, and under staffing and education variants, we have staffing ratios less than standard and medical staff unaware of policies and prevention protocols. Then what you would want to do is to continue to brainstorm the other categories or causes for each main category. Then ask why. To find the root causes, use the five whys techniques. Asking why. Why did this happen? Or why else? Over and over until you come up with possible root causes. Then you want to write sub-causes or secondary causes, which will be branching off of your primary causes. Primary, secondary. So continue to ask why and generate deeper levels of causes. Layers of branches of indicate causal relationships. The five whys technique is a problem solving tool that helps you find the underlying reason that a problem has occurred. And lastly, investigate. Once the team runs out of ideas and comes up with all the possible causes, gather the data to confirm which causes are real and which are not. This concludes the presentation on how to create a fishbone diagram, a basic tool of project quality management.